Um, I'd say that the war on terror has been a cynical pretext used by the United States to carry out uh, wars and occupations against other governments and trying to topple other governments in violation of the U.N. Charter. It's become a banner rather than an actual war. The U.N. Charter says the use of force or violence against another member nation of the U.N. can only be justified uh, on the circumstance of imminent self-defense. And here you have the United States invaded Iraq. The United States knew absolutely that Iraq had nothing to do with September 11th. The Lancet Medical Journal, as of 2010, uh, said that as many as a million Iraqis had died who would not have otherwise died. That's not counting the wars in Yemen, the, the drone attacks against the, the people in Somalia, the war in Libya, uh, again, all under the pretext of the war on terror, where NATO bombed and destroyed uh, a sovereign government. The U.S. wasn't trying to build democracy in Libya. They were trying to destroy a government and take over a country where the, the country in Africa that had the largest oil reserves. I mean, this has been an unmitigated disaster for people all around the world. The U.S. Uh, assumed that it had the right to torture and set up black torture sites, uh, hidden sites all around the world. Guantanamo today is still open. Uh, Guantanamo has been labeled by the United Nations as a torture center. So I'd say the U.S. cynically used the terrible events on September 11th. And I lived right by the World Trade Center. I had friends in the World Trade Center. I know about the grief and the rage and the anger. But this was George W. Bush and the neocons uh, using this terrible tragedy, this terrible attack, to carry out a new foreign policy, a very aggressive foreign policy, where the U.S. was going to take out those governments in the world in resource-rich parts of the world that were, you know, products of the anti-colonial period. So I think this is a cynical pretext. It's been an unmitigated disaster. The only thing it succeeded in is killing a lot of people and making some people very, very rich. It's been very, very good for the U.S. military-industrial complex.